blessings i'm back it is just and i'm so excited not really because i'm really tired but <laughs> i made it home safe after a long day and i wanted to show you all my hair so if you haven't seen the video i went on i start, and i'm gonna start doing this where i'm gonna just come on and style my hair for the morning and see like how fast i can style my hair for the day and so my hair was tremendously dry it was in two twists and i styled my hair in under 10 minutes and got out the door so if you want to watch that video um it should be somewhere below on the channel uh, hopefully i'll link it in the in the like description section so you can watch that video as well and this is the after so after a long day i don't know if you guys can tell but the back kind of like scrunches up kind of gets a little bit knotty um again that's probably because i don't use gels um so it kind of you know it, throughout the day i will pull it down and stretch it out a bit or i won't not just leave it alone so i really need to wash my hair and I really don't want to wash my hair because I'm tired, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it. It's happening. So. Okay, scarf. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to wash my hair and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Speaking that into existence. And I will see y'all at the end. Okay, so this is my very first attempt at washing my hair while in the shower. And of course, you, as you can see by my face, I did not enjoy it at all. <laughs> um, this was very uncomfortable for me. Uh, if you know from my last video, I did say I do not like, <laughs> I do not like like having wet things on my body and I was not gonna be in the shower with no clothes on. So, this is the first attempt. I do apologize in advance that I was not able to get all of the hair in the camera again. I am going to continue to work on it. Practice makes perfect and it will get better as we go along. So, as you can see here, I am gently doing some finger detangling. Um, and I kind of have one half is twisted back, the other half is what I'm focusing on, and then I'm going to go in with my shampoo. I, for the most part, just shampoo my scalp in the top half of my head, and I don't usually put shampoo on the ends at all i i don't yeah i don't do that one it's a waste of shampoo and also it's not really that coherent so i just don't even bother doing it so it took as you can see my hair is kind of taking the moisture um a little bit slower um i did cut about maybe three minutes where it was just my hair trying to soak in the water i believe that's low porosity if i'm not if i'm not wrong i could be wrong off the top of my head i could be messing that up but it's very important that you do learn your hair type in relation to how it takes moisture because that's going to help you pick out products that you like products that are good for your hair and a healthy scalp is the key to all of this if you don't have a healthy scalp you're gonna be struggling throughout this and i was actually gonna do two shampoos i'm using the yes moisture by kenyana nicole to start and then i'm gonna go in with the my Own organics um detangling shampoo uh i will say that because i was so uncomfortable <laughs> There I go again because I was so uncomfortable this is me singing in the shower because it is Sunday and I do have church playing so I had to sing a little bit but yo I cannot get over my face um so I'm going to because I'm doing it in the shower and I'm uncomfortable I will say that I don't feel like my hair was really as clean as it normally is when I'm just really getting in, in there um, but that's okay. That's okay. So now I'm going in with more shampoo. 
and putting that again the top part of my hair and I'm just rubbing it in let me know what shampoos you like do you like the sulfates with the suds are you anti-sulfate um, I'm very curious to know I personally am okay with or without suds. I'm more so concerned with if my hair feels cleansed or not. Is my scalp clean? Is there still residue on it? How many how many washes do I have to do? You know, if I do get a shampoo that I'm using that's new and I have to go through it maybe, you know, three times to get my scalp clean then it you know it's maybe not the shampoo for me right um i do have flakier scalp uh, my scalp gets uh dirty and dry very quickly um i do wash my hair once a week a little bit more you know probably like a, a week and a few days um but i do start to feel my hair getting that build up that could be linked to a few different things um you could have a gluten allergy and some other things but um i'm going to do the other side now as you can see uh the water was a little too too warm so if you are doing wash and goes which i'm not doing wash and go in this video but um the warm water like the super hot water tends to sometimes make my hair a little bit more frizzy and so I like to use a cooler water uh, temperature while I'm washing my hair. I don't like cold showers. <laughs> so <laughs> it's hard for me. I be, it is hard for me. And honestly, if I wasn't such a lazy natural, I would be washing my hair in the sink. But I also do not enjoy that because it hurts my back. And so this is the most comfortable way for me to wash my hair. I also don't like that I feel like I'm wasting a lot of water from being in the shower so long and detangling in the shower, but I rip out way less hair when I wash my hair in the shower, when I detangle in the shower than when I do outside of the shower. Um, and so now I am, yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm still shampooing so I know this is this is a long video if you guys are still here um, drop drop a heart in the comment section say I'm still here um, <laughs> because I know this is a bit long but I also feel like some of the natural girlies we just we just speed everything up um, and some people really want to see the full process and it's not you know i wish it could just be 20 seconds you know a three minute ordeal but it's not so it takes some time um so i am just getting that scalp good getting the back good getting around my ears good um again sorry that the shot is not the most beautiful i will work on it i promise so Oh, look at those curls. They're coming in. Juicy. So I did put some deep conditioner in my hair uh, and then got back in the shower. I didn't show that part. So now I am going to be detangling my hair while I rinse out the deep conditioner. This is something that I like to do, even if I only left the deep conditioner in my hair for five to 10 minutes, I prefer to use deep conditioner uh, just so I can get my hair nice and moisturized because again, the low porosity, it, it really needs, it needs a little bit of extra to get that moisture in. So uh, now I am just detangling, oh, look at my face. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm still, I'm calm, but yeah that's a prayer maybe no i'm singing okay so i am going to detangle my hair as you know you always start from the bottom and work your way up to the top uh, my hair while it has running water through it the shrinkage is actually down to my hip and so i know you can't see that in this in this shot but it that's where it is so 
sometimes as I'm like midway through, I have to then kind of go back down to the bottom and then kind of comb it out again, you know? So that's fine. So I'm just gonna keep on detangling and detangling until it's not less until it's all detangled so look at my juicy curls they're coming in so you're starting to see a little bit of that bounce in the front again it's gonna be mild because there's still running water through it going through it so I have to detangle a lot at the top because even though I put my hair in a pineapple at night, um, I feel like, you know, up by your roots, you get build up as far as tangles go. So I want to make sure I can get all those tangles out in the back. And it takes some time to do. I also, I think I'm going to make a video reviewing the other types of detangle brushes. I do have a couple of other ones. Um, that I don't use very often because this is my favorite one and if it ain't broke don't fix it but You never know one of those other uh, Detangler combs might might take the spot one day. We'll see and See now I'm going back to do the bottom again Take my time. So I gotta slow down. It's like slow down Jess. Calm down Right Take your time the key is taking your time. That's the key. Taking your time. So, I'm not gonna show you the other side detangling because this is, this is long enough. But as you can see, I have to even then sometimes put it in little sections and make sure all the knots are out. I'm gonna show you from the back angle so you can see. By the way, this whole time, I'm getting water everywhere, so that's very great. There's water all over my floor while I'm singing. I wonder if I can remember what song I'm singing just by looking at my... Mm. No, I don't remember. But yeah, so... Almost done. And then I'm gonna just replicate, <laughs> replicate it on the other side. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, please give this video a like, drop a comment, and if you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Again, my name is Jess, and I am just happy to be here and back to the video because i am doing something else i am going to put it in a twist this is the best way for me to keep it from getting tangled up again even if it is briefly while i detangle the other side and also get out of the shower do a couple other things i need to do before i style my hair or we'll continue to detangle and then style because <laughs> the detangling is not over Feel like it's never gonna end but i'm just gonna put it into a twist before i go on to the other side it doesn't have to be perfect it's not about the sections and the is your part straight and did you get all the clumps out like just do your best and keep it pushing okie dokie now that i am out of the shower i'm going to section it off I'm going to add some water, some leave-in conditioner, and I'm going to braid my hair up. The braid out is my go-to style because I feel like it is very quick and easy to do. I just braid it, let it air dry, and I wear the braids for about three days and then they should be dry in three days and then I will take the braids out and then that'll last me another three days. So even if I do leave them in for four days and then take them out, it equals about, you know, until it's time to do the next wash. As you can see, my parts are not straight and they usually never are. Maybe one day, um, but I'm not going to break my neck trying to 
make a straight part. It's just not worth it for me. On to the last one. And wow, this is going really, really fast. <laughs> if you guys want to watch me do this and slower, I do have a video on the channel. You can watch me do the, the braid out real time. Well, I do at least the sum of the sections real time. Now that I am finished, I can like the black Pocahontas. I am going to trim these ends. So I normally trim my ends after I wash them just to get whatever going on at the bottom that's looking a little bit um, janky out of there. I don't make it harder than it needs to be. Could line the two back braids up and snip, snip. Line the two front braids up, snip, snip. You don't have to do it as often as I do it. Um, as long as you do it like, well, the hair professionals would say you should get your hair cut, what, like every six weeks or something like that, like trimmed. But I, I mean, once a month is like if I'm, you know, just casually doing it without thinking about it, then I might do it once a month. But I've been doing it a lot and because my hair just keeps on growing. So I just keep on doing it. Make snoop, snoop, cut it off, Jess, hurry up. Goodness gracious, it's shaking her sweet time. Let me speed this up a bit. So after that, I'm going to apply some oil, some oil to my scalp. Now, aunties, what do we know about oil, right? It seals in moisture or dryness. So, you know, I don't put oil on my scalp when my scalp is dry. That's not wise for me. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit on my hands and then I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, a little hair on my hand. Then I'm gonna rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. Yes. 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 Okay, look at all that. Oh my goodness. That's how much hair came out of the brush. This is how much hair I cut off. And that's it. Bye.